Hello and welcome to this edition of the MyLapse Trackside Training Videos. In this session I will review how to register racers for an event using the sign up tab in MyLapse Trackside. In the previous training session we started a new event. With that event open we will now select the tab at the top labeled sign up. Let's take a minute to go over this window now. The list on the left half of the screen shows all the racers in your database. When you enter a racer, he's not just signed up for the event, he's also saved to your database, so his name will appear here after he's been entered. Over time, you will build a database that becomes very valuable to you. The right half of your screen allows for data entry and is used to enter a new or existing racer into an event. You will see many data fields in this section, but only a few are required. To sign a racer into an event, minimally, you must enter first name, last name, class, racing number, and brand. Now let's take a look at the process to sign a racer into an event. In this case, I really do not have many racers in my database, so I'm just going to start data entry on the right half of my screen. I will enter a last name, first name, select a class, enter a racing number, and select a brand. Now that I have minimal data entered, I will click the enter racer button at the top of my screen. I get a message that says the racer has been entered in the race and added to the database. You now see the name of the racer in the list on the left of my screen. The number one in parentheses is an indication that this racer is signed in to one class in this event. Often a racer is signing up for more than one class. If you want to enter the same racer into a second class, simply hit enter on your keyboard and the racer who you just entered is retrieved from the left and appears back on the right. I can select a new class, change the racing number and brand if needed, and then enter this racer into a second class. In this case, the racer is going to race a different brand. Hit the enter racer. Racer has been entered in the race and updated in the database. I now see a 2 for this racer. This indicates he is in two classes in this event. Also notice at the bottom of my screen, a run and tally tells me how many racers I have signed up so far. I will repeat this process so that we get more racers signed up into this event. I now have more racers signed up into this event. Now that you're a little more familiar with the sign up process, let's go over a few more details on this screen that can make you much faster and more efficient. First of all, always try to find the racer you are signing up in the database list. If the racer is in your database already, you want to retrieve him from the list on the left so that you do not create a new racer. In this case, let me type in Danes. As I type in Danes, you see it found the racer I want on the left. If that was not the racer I'd want, if I wanted the racer below him, I could use my arrow keys on the keyboard to arrow up and down the list. Once the racer is highlighted that you want, hit the enter key, retrieve that racer over. It remembers the last class, bike number, and bike brand that the racer raced with and fills that data in. If the data is correct, we're going to enter racer. You will become more efficient on the sign-up screen if you learn to use the keyboard only to perform the sign-up process. The software is programmed to allow for this. In this case, let's search for a racer named Bill Williams. I'm going to start typing in Williams, and I look to see, and there's no Bill listed. So I'm just going to use my tab key and tab over to first name. I'm going to type in Bill. Continue to enter the racer. I want to put him in the 250C class. So when I get to class, I just keep hitting the number 2 
until 250C pops up. If I accidentally pass up 250C, continue to hit 2 until it comes back around. Now I'm going to use the tab and go to number, give this racer a number. I'm going to use the tab again. If this racer is on a Yamaha, I just hit the letter Y. If the racer is on a KTM, I hit K until KTM comes up. Now I have all the information I need for a race. One option is to go to the enter racer button with my mouse, but we want to get away from using the mouse. So instead I use the hotkey. To see the hotkey, look at sign up, enter racer, the hotkey is control E. So in this case, I'm going to use control E to enter the racer. Another efficient way to use this screen is to assign a member ID to your racers. Or you can place the AMA number in the member ID field if you have AMA sanctioned events. If you put a member ID in the member ID column and hit the enter key, Trackside will search for a racer in the database with that member number. If the racer is found, the racer comes over to your screen. If the racer is not found, the cursor goes to the last name and lets you look for the racer by last name. If you're promoting AMA sanctioned events, you can use a MagStripe card reader to scan data from an AMA card into Trackside. To use the reader field, place your cursor in the reader field and then swipe an AMA card with a mag reader. The data is parsed out of the card, searched in your database. If the racer is found, the racer is retrieved. If the racer is not found, he's added to your database. The cursor is sitting at the class field, and I can type in the first number, 2, to get him signed into the 250B class. Use tab and give him a bike number. Tab and give him a brand. At this point, I'm going to hit Control E. Another thing that happens when you hit Control E, Trackside makes sure that the number you're signing for this class is not used twice. If a racer already has this bike number, Trackside will inform you and you will have to change the bike number before you can sign the racer up. To help you become more efficient on this screen, there are preferences you could set that suit your way of signing up. We will go to Edit, Menu, and then Preferences. Here we'll take a look at some of the options. Require a user to enter member number at sign up, yes or no. Require user to enter a district ID at sign up, yes or no. After entering a racer into an event, set focus to which field. After entering a racer into an event, do you want a message box, yes or no. The default entry type, the default entry fee. Other options that have to do with the sign up screen. Validate member expiration during sign up, yes or no. Validate race order during sign up, yes or no and require user to enter a transponder number at sign up, yes or no. In a case where a racer wants to drop a class or be pulled from a class that you've signed him up for, the sign up screen will allow you to delete a racer from a class. To delete the entry, retrieve the racer from the list. So I'm going to type in my last name. It found my name. I'm going to hit the enter key. My name comes over and I'm in the open A class. In order to delete my name, I could go up to here and click delete racer or I could use the hotkey of control D. The racer has now been deleted from the event. My name is still in the database. I'm just no longer signed up for this particular race. Keep in mind that this screen is not used to change data specific to a racer after you have signed him up. One option is to delete the racer from the event and sign him back up with the correct data. The other option is use the class detail tab to make changes to the racer once he's already been signed up. One final thing to cover on this screen. This is a feature that's programmed into many of the trackside windows. You have the ability to right click your mouse on a racer's name. This will open the yellow post-it note. Here I right clicked on Wesley Bauer. Yellow post-it note shows me he's in two classes, Yamaha 202 for each class. To close this yellow post-it note, simply click in the yellow any place. This concludes this training session.
Find more training sessions online at mxtransponder.com.